The Israeli military has said its fighter jets, helicopters and artillery have struck over 500 targets overnight in Gaza. The death toll since Hamas launched its attacks on Saturday has now reached 1,200. 700 of those have been killed in Israel, including 260 at a music festival. Reuters reports that this includes 73 soldiers. That's according to the Israeli military. And more than uh, 500 have been killed in Gaza after Israel launched retaliatory airstrikes. Well, the Israeli military says the attacks launched by Hamas on Saturday are like the 2001 terrorist attacks on the United States. This is our 9-11, a spokesman said. Iran has said in the last hour it's played no part in the attack by Hamas. A foreign ministry spokesman said the Palestinians had the capacity to defend their nation without any help from Tehran which has called for an emergency meeting of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. Well, let's take you to the scene live in Gaza now. And uh, the background there a little bit earlier uh, had plumes of smoke hovering above the city. Uh, Gaza City has been pounded by Israeli missiles through the night and uh, this morning as well. Well, militants from the Palestinian group Hamas remain inside Israel. Fighting is ongoing, apparently, at least seven locations there two days after the first mass assault on Saturday. And as many as 100 Israeli hostages have been taken into Gaza by militants. Our Middle East correspondent Yolan Nell reports. Explosions lighting up the night sky as Israeli missile defense shot down incoming Palestinian rockets. But not all. Homes in southern Israel were hit. And in Gaza, Israel has been striking back. The Israeli prime minister threatening mighty vengeance. The scale and complexity of Saturday's surprise attack is still becoming clear. Hamas released this footage of its armed men storming the main crossing for people from Gaza entering Israel. Israeli rescuers have been collecting hundreds of bodies. It is uh, by far the, the, uh, the worst day in Israeli history. Never before have so many Israelis been killed by one single thing let alone enemy activity on one day. And if you're Americans and want to compare this to something in American history, then this could be a 9-11 and a Pearl Harbor wrapped into one. Hamas now says it's holding 100 Israeli hostages, like this 85-year-old grandmother, Yaffa Adar, whisked away by militants in a golf cart. Yoni Asher is begging for the safe return of his wife and two small children after they were kidnapped by gunmen while visiting his in-laws. I want to ask of Hamas, don't hurt them. Don't hurt little children, don't hurt women. If you want me instead, I'm willing to come. Now in Gaza, most areas are without power after Israel stopped supplying electricity. There are shortages of food and water. Tens of thousands of Palestinians have fled their homes, many seeking shelter in UN schools. As Israel hits back, the international community has rushed to support its right to defend itself. But there have been warnings too about a growing humanitarian crisis. Israel keeps saying the blockade and repeated assaults on Gaza are to destroy Hamas, military capabilities, and ensure security. Clearly and, ex and expectedly, its blockade and assaults accomplished neither. And with Palestinians killed in clashes with Israeli soldiers in the occupied West Bank, there are new signs of the violence spreading. Yolande Nell, BBC News, Jerusalem.